play a game. That's locked. Press the internet indirect keys to use objects. Default key is E, but you can change controls in pause menu. Uh, E's fine. If you get stuck or you aren't sure where what you're supposed to do, use the hints found in the pause menu. Pause. Hmm. A hint is automatically given if you stay inside an area for more than six minutes. Oh, that's fine then. That's great. <gasps> get some water. God's basement. Oh, new game. We can click here. <laughs> uh, pressing E, but... Wait, this is like a menu? Oh. <laughs> Imagine this is in the game world and dude's just standing there drooling next to a fan. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Can you imagine actually getting up that slow? There's a phone. Okay, so we get a little dot if there's like an interactable. Hello, and welcome to God's basement. Hi. Sure. You might not be able to remember everything about your past just yet. You're in the good place. <laughs> Okay. Also, Blue light. If you see or hear anything strange or unusual, ignore it to the best of your ability. I'll talk to you once you But I am strange and unusual. Good luck. Well, oh, because we're watching Beetlejuice this weekend. Welcome to the afterlife. Oh, that's a good place. Congratulations, you're dead. <laughs> Don't worry, we still love you. Here's a trophy, you deserve it. Where are you exactly? Oh, Trip! Hey, thank you! You can call this place God's Basement. Wondering where everyone is? You'll meet them soon enough. One last thing, you can't leave! <laughs> this is great. Hey, baby! What is it? Oh! Osh! Osh, osh, osh! Hey! They're so alone! I don't cuddle them enough. Clearly. There's another kitty here. Coming down the stairs. He just wants to lick me. So many kisses. I think he's putting on weight again. I'm having a hard time not feeding him whenever he asks for it. I do need my earbuds though. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. I was wondering why I was only hearing stuff in one ear. <laughs> That's better. God, I love this new keyboard. Fuck. It's really so much better than I thought. The clicky sound is growing on me. If you haven't seen it... Ugh, cat hairs everywhere. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check out my Twitter. I tweeted about all this cool stuff that... Um, Seal Series sent me. They're super nice. Welcome to the afterlife. Don't remember everything? Your memories will return shortly. Lastly, trust the operator. Yeah, right. The glowy keyboard, yeah. 
Margaret Young, grandmother. Oh, Spork! Thank you so much for the sub! Thank you. Frank, Margaret, Neil, Sarah. They had Kevin and James. And that's us. Okay. So they're helping us remember. A little box? No. I'll have to look into changing the commands too, mods. There's probably a, a game wisp command. A fatal two dead and fatal crash by Stephen Miles. Fatal accident that occurred last weekend is currently being investigated. Reports say that an elderly couple along with their infant grandson were driving along an interstate highway when the driver lost control. Vehicle swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. Driver, a young retired elderly man by the name of Frank Young, was killed in the accident along with his infant grandson, Kevin Young. The only survivor of the crash, Margaret Young, is in stable condition. Rumors suggest that alcohol might have been involved in the incident, but there is ins insufficient evidence to properly conclude the suspicion. Sure. Can I fit here? Oh, yes. Uh, wait, what do I do here, though? This is a dead end. The cats just sprinted upstairs. Wait, where do I go? He said, find the room with the blue light, right? Are there like light switches? Maybe I need to find a key? So the parents died? Wait. Because it said Frank and Margaret died? No, Margaret was stable. Neil died? I don't remember. <laughs> I already forgot. Can't open these. I can't crouch either. Um... That's about it. Jesus, the cats are hyper and they're going up the stairs again. The fuck? Don't kill each other. Ah, Quim, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you. Can't interact with anything here, so. Oh, it's a kitty. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I can zoom. Oh, cute. PB and Q are providing the swoops, yeah. They're just building atmosphere. They're just they just think they're helping me out. Where the fuck? Search the trash can. Blue box. It's gotta be something we need to like click on. <sighs> Maybe the remote? Jump scare. Can I change the channel? No. Can I turn it off? No, it's just on forever now. Anything else I can use here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Um, what do we do? Aren't my six minutes up already? Could have been a big spook, yeah. <laughs> like there's clearly a dot here for the other stuff, not. Still don't trust the TV. It's the end of the game. We did it. We're done. It's weird. We gotta get a key from somewhere. For that one door, I'm assuming. No keys here, though. This is what hell looks like. You're confined in an office space for all eternity and this TV is the only entertainment. Yeah. That would be pretty... Maybe I should... No. Read paper, paper on table after switching on the TV. Oh, really? I don't think so. I can't jump either. This is like white noise to me. I'm going down fast, bro. <laughs> yeah, I. this is like instant sleep stuff for me. Holy shit. That piano thing on the background. Now the family tree is supposed to have changed according to the guide. Oh, it's changing. Thank you so much, Speedy. Because they're dead. So <gasps> he's gone. He's in the back. Okay, so stuff is slowly changing. Doesn't work. Hmm. Now I get a key? Sure. Hmm. That game logic. Ah, oh, revenge! Thank you for the eight months! Thank you. Let's see what's here. Lunch? I'll take it. God, now I have the fucking tune in my head, though. Dun, 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 Give me that. I got a hammer. Blue light! Is this where I need to be? Uh... Ah. Do I need to hold it? Ah, I see. To God's basement, trust the operator. Will guide you. Do I get a flashlight at some point? That would be great. Nyan, 
nya 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 Hello Oh hello I'm looking for a key Oh it went oh yeah Oh, I ghost, thank you. Who I am. Just call me the operator for now. It's not an official name, but I find it quite catchy. Quite catchy. We're making great progress so far. Oh, I thank you. We've been having some issues with the lights recently. <gasps> You'll need a flashlight. Yes, I do. There's one in the next room on a table, next to a radio. It'll be quite handy in the upper Oh, that's areas. cool. This way they're ensuring that you can't miss it. I don't know if what, what will be creepier, this voice or just like a normal happy voice. Wouldn't that be creepier if it's like a lady that's just like, in the next room you will find the the the. Hot tea. Hot stuff. Mm, tea. I love tea. Tea is good. Tea is the nectar of life. Okay, so next to radio on the table. Hello. I am looking for a flashlight. Can I turn it off? No. Na 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 na. Dear mother, I have been I haven't been answering your calls. I know it wasn't your fault, but losing Kevin and Dad has taken a toll on us all. I think Sarah and I just need to, some time to grieve and accept what happened. Take care. Your son, Neil Young. Okay. That music makes me think of Jesus. Oh no, it's one of those games. I fucking hate it when you turn and the flashlight has to like catch up. So you're like, what's that? There's the flashlight. It's fucking annoying. Oh, Avenger, thank you. Thank you so much. What was that? I don't know, because now I can fucking see and it's too late. No, that's my tea. The tea is not for you, kitty. Hi. Your memories from your past life are still probably blurry, but they'll start coming back shortly. For are you going to settle down on my lap? Make your way down through the hallway. I highly advise you not to spend too much time looking around. If anything makes an attempt to get your attention, ignore it to the best of your ability. Sure. Miss B, thank you for the 16 months. Most importantly, do not, I repeat, do not acknowledge their existence. If you follow these guidelines, you should be just fine. Hi, kitty. Give me a minute or two to unlock the door. Once the screen shows that it is unlocked, you may proceed. I'll see you again soon. Good luck. So... Do I just wait? Ugh, quiet, please. Make up your mind. She keeps like walking here on the desk and then on my lap and then back and forth. Ah, oh, chicken! Thank you! Um... Is there a key somewhere I need to get? Uh, 
Didn't he say he was gonna unlock it? Way back is locked now, too. Hmm. We got a flashlight, but... Hey, Taylor! The waiting game until it unlocks. Just wait and don't do things. So you should, you should probably do things. I don't know. Yeah, Beetlejuice is Sunday. I'm so excited. Should we just wait? Really, not that much I can do, though. Open up. Look for notes again. Zoom in. Oh, Jesus. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? Speedy, thank you. God did not forgive me. For making a mess? Flashlight's so annoying. I don't understand why they would do that. Like, why is it so hard not to just put it in front of the person at all times? Why does it have to catch up with you? Like, that's what you would do in real life. Turn around and then your arm needs to catch up with your head. Oh, that's a lady. Look at the figure using the zoom and wait for it to walk away. In here? Or is it standing somewhere? I'm glad to have you, Speedy. <laughs> That's the only figure I can find, so... <laughs> Something change here? Andy, you scared me. <laughs> Spooky office bits. <laughs> Thank you. I have no idea what to do. Deep psychology. Shit's deep, man.
Can I move this? I can. I don't know if I'm supposed to though. Oh! Hi! Oh. Sorry I clipped your closet. Maybe I can clip it the other way. There, fixed it. <laughs> oh, great! Oh, this will be great! Lady! Hi! <laughs> Of course. Here it goes. Okay, at least she's not here anymore. A car crash resulted Can I sit down for story time? Grandfather and an infant child. Authorities reported that the car swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The only survivor was the grandmother of the infant child. Although she suffered major injuries, she is currently in stable condition. Authorities also reported that the grandfather was driving the vehicle and that alcohol might have been involved in the incident. Didn't they say don't get distracted and just keep going? It's the big bush. Yeah. <laughs> they both want to be on the desk. Oh, Chocobo, thank you. Um. Oh. Oh, no fighting. Hey. They both want to be on this little patch I have here, but there's not enough room. They're too big. I don't know what I can do. I can maybe expand it, but then I would have to move myself to to this side more. Oh, phone. Hello? Ah, Taylor! Thank you for the sub! That's awesome! Thank you! Oh, decent! Thank you so much for the sub! Thank you, guys! That's it? You're just crying? They never answered any of my letters or my calls. I wanted an eternity to hear. Mm hmm. The sound of their voices. Hey, Spook. Big Boss, why are you so mad? They really don't fit here. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> they both want to be here, but there's not enough space. <laughs> Look at him. Um... Should I just go back? Oh, the blinds are open now. Does someone have a guide open still? Because the stuff we need to do is so obscure, I don't really understand. I would rather not be stuck too long.
Pick up the phone, wait for the audio to stop, go back to the door again and interact with it again. Will cause the phone to start ringing, but this time do not pick up and the door will open. The fuck? Oh, now it's open. Oh, Jules, thank you for the resub. Thank ya. You guys, so many resubs. Thank ya, thank ya. Thank ya. Mmm. Taylor's a bit boss, that's awesome. Dear mother. Um, yeah, this is a new text. I know it's been a while since we last saw each other, but I just wanted to let you know that the delivery was successful. It's a perfectly healthy boy and we named him James. He absolutely, he's absolutely adorable and I can't wait for you to meet him. Take care, Neil Young. I'm glad you made it through in one piece. Whatever you Khan, have hey, what's up? Thanks so much for the 13 months. It occurred before you were born. Your parents, Neil and Sarah Young, had a son named Kevin. Ooh. Your grandparents were looking after him when an unfortunate incident occurred. After losing their only son, your parents decided it would be best to create some distance between your grandmother. Although she tried her best to seek their forgiveness. The grief they felt was too painful. For a long time, they stayed out of contact with your grandmother. After a few That was years, an intense neck neck crack. Yeah, neck crack. Young. They still were quite distant with your yeah, grandmother. Yeah, God, I love it. It's so cool. Afraid the same incident might happen again. I don't want to bore you too much with those details. There is something I require from you. For you to unlock more of your memories, you need to go deeper into God's basement. To do that, you need to retrieve a security card to get past the door to your right. Fortunately, there is one down the hall. Man, the afterlife sure is complicated. Just follow it all the way down, past the area with the red lights, and it should be in a storage room filled with shelves. Once you retrieve it, bring it back and slide it across the panel next to the door. I know you still have your suspicions, but I swear all your questions will be answered. Once you have a complete understanding of your past life, I'll tell you what God's basement really is. But you have quite some ways to go. Keep doing exactly as I say. And one last thing. Good luck. Sure, dude. Let's see it. Please support to office before entering. Nope. Something on shelves at the end? Is that a key card? Oh. No, it ain't. Entry three. Last night I had a dream. I was walking towards my son and his family. They looked so happy together and I yearned to be a part of it. As I kept walking, they kept shrinking, becoming more and more distant. And even as I increased my pace, the space between the space between kept exponentially increasing until they disappeared. I haven't seen them since the accident. My son writes to me every now and then, but will never answer any of my calls. I haven't heard his voice in years. They recently had another child, an adorable baby boy. I desperately wish to see him. My son wrote to me saying that he couldn't wait for us to meet. I pray that he keeps his word. Margaret. Buttons? Ooh, security cams. Need to... My mouse cable's in the way. There we go. That hallway looks inviting. Can I do anything here? Press these. Hmm. Hmm. Be excellent to each other. Ah, I can't. Hey, what's up? 
Oh, they go out anyway. Maybe I just need to do it really fast. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm getting so much love from you. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's just a certain combination that needs to be lit. Thank you. What were you playing? Oh, Emmy, you got pizza? Ah, oh, I want pizza. I made that lentil curry yesterday, and then today I had um, leftovers. So I just reheated it. And it's really good. I really liked it. I did a lot better this time. The first time I didn't use enough curry paste. So there wasn't a lot of taste to it. But this time I used a bunch, like a whole jar. And it was super spicy. Well, not spicy and hot, but like... A little bit spicy, just... Oh, Ed! Just a lot of seasoning, curry spices. Thank you! I missed what Kat was playing, but I don't know if she said it. Anyway, thank you, Kat, and thank you, Ed! Holy shit! Stress and app Oh, apotaker! <laughs> um, Nerevar, Crab, Cheesy Freezy, and Spencer. You guys are no subs. Don't forget to enjoy the perks. Um, we're watching Beetlejuice this Sunday, so if you want to join, you can now join on Discord. Don't forget to link it up. Link up that shit. Lentil curry is amazing. Did you see the picture, uh, Ikalopa, that I put in food yesterday, in the food channel? <sighs> so good. It was still so good today as well, on the second day. Really happy with that, but I think tomorrow is time for pizza. <laughs> Okay, so we got to do something with those buttons. There's definitely lights here. But I don't understand how to... Oh god, this flashlight's so fucking annoying! Ah. What do you guys think? Correct order from left to right. Oh. Five. One, two, six. Four, three. So it was an order thing. Okay. It just didn't give me give me any feedback on if I was doing it right or not, so I had no idea. I had pizza yesterday and beer today. My diet isn't going so well. It's pretty good so far, Cat, but you definitely need a guide. Or stream it so you have chat that can help you out, like I am right now, because... Like... One thing I was stuck on, and it was just like... Turn the TV on, then read the document, then walk back and watch. look at a certain poster, then walk back into the room again, and then come back, and then a random closet, like, opens for a key. Like, how are you supposed to even figure that out? So I would definitely use chat or a guide, like I am. But, so far, promising. Turn off. I wish I could interact with the radios. Yeah, it's definitely not straightforward, this game. Ah, Raka, thank you! Is this where I came from? I think so. It was like a key card we'd need, right? Key cart, key cart. Where you at? Where you at? It was like on shelves, he said. Key cart. Oh god, here it comes. No, I'm just gonna go. Nope, time to go. Nope, time to go. Time to go. Yep. Time to go. I'm, I'm okay. Jesus. Oh, quite trying to get in the travel bag. Why you want to be in there, baby? I 
That song just puts me in uh, Until Dawn. Okay. Hello? Oh, it's a bunny! <gasps> You're cute! It's cute. It's actually cute. Dear mother, how have you been? It's been pretty hectic over here, balancing family and work. James is about half a year old now and he's growing up healthily. Uh, I have some bad news. I might have to relocate to another state because of my job in the next few months. I don't know for sure yet, but there's a high probability of a relocation. I know I promised to let you see your grandson and I really intended to let you see him, but it's difficult to find the time. I'll keep you updated on everything. Your son, Neil Young. Ah, oh, cat, see you later. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. The music in game is making me very sleepy. Yeah, it's not super exciting yet. Did, was that there already? Oh. But it's not bad yet, so I'm I'm okay with it. Oh. I hate this flashlight, though. It's so stupid. Why would a flashlight need to catch up like that? That was such a drag, yeah. The light's gone now? Don't think I haven't noticed. It's like a lockbox or a radio. Looks like a lockbox. Can I please just go? Oh, we're at six seventeen. Holy shit! Nice. Maybe we can get to seven six twenty. Oh right, because Ed gifted. Thank you, Ed. Maybe we can get to twenty. Bunny? Can I do something with you? It's a cute bunny. Oh. Oh, hello. I'm glad this door's locked. And she's gone. Yeah, Jesus. Don't tell me there's a baby in the box. There's a baby in there. Yeah, she's mostly been just standing around, huh? That's one strong baby. Hey, concept! Long time no see! Just my dick in a box here. Yeah. It's my dick in a box! Lady? What did you do with the baby? Okay. Schrodinger's baby. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Are you gonna talk to me? James. It has been some time since I've last seen you around. I like the logo. By now, you should have some idea of the history between your grandmother and your parents. After the accident <laughs> occurred, there was extreme tension between them. 
It was understandable given the context of the situation. Your parents wanted some space due to the grief they were experiencing. Oh, thank you, Rich. That's awesome. Your grandmother, dealing with the guilt and loneliness, longed for support and forgiveness, something your parents did not grant. I promise we'll get to your part of the story soon. To satisfy your curiosity for a bit, I'll tell you a small truth about God's basement. Yeah, I should try getting God's that integration back up. Place to reflect on your past life. With notifications? This statement might be a bit broad, but I'll tell you more as you continue your journey. As for this area, there seems to be a locked door with a keypad. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'll see you around soon. Good luck. You should get sea salt caramel chocobo. Because that's the best. Cookie dough ice cream is the best though. Okay, I'm not listening to this dude at all. in love with my new keyboard. I sometimes just get like hypnotized by the colors. I don't know if I can show you guys. See the colors change? Sometimes I stare at it a little bit too long because <laughs> it's so nice to track the colors. <laughs> It's a steel series. They sent me free stuff. And it's honestly way nicer than I thought it would be. I only knew steel series for their mouse pad. And I had a mouse pad from them, which was nice. Um, and they contacted me they contacted me like half a year ago that they wanted to send me stuff and I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna I love free stuff, but um is there someone standing back there? But I, I'm gonna move soon, so... Um, oh, I need scraps of paper. So maybe after I move I can still hit you up on that offer? And they were like, sure! So now I got a P.O. box and everything. And I was like, well, here we go. And uh, they sent me all this cool shit. Holy fuck, I'm so spoiled. They sent me way more than I thought. I thought they were gonna send me like a headset. But they sent me the headset. Um, which also changes color, by the way, on the side. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. It's also constantly changing color. Um, they sent me the headset. They sent me a huge fucking mouse pet, which is like my entire disc. And then a mouse, which also changes color. And a keyboard. So I have like a super nice like whole set. It's freaking amazing. And they didn't even need anything in return. They were just like, we'll send you stuff and then you can like tweet about it, whatever. It's fine. It wasn't like you have to put put us on your website or you have to be like sponsored by not at all they were just like here you go <laughs> cool stuff the colors are not in sync no i could probably get them in sync if i tried but this flashlight's horrible did i tell you guys that that the flashlight's horrible <laughs> not sure you might have missed that but the flashlight's horrible That's very nice of them. Yeah, super sweet. Ah, there it is. 0911. That's the code for the door. Hey, Ashraf! Hello! Oh, you guys can see it, but one of the paper pieces, it's like behind me. Here. There. Yeah. It's hard to point with my fingers there. <laughs> Zero nine eleven. I don't know what to do with these pieces of paper though. 
But yeah, it's super cool because this this whole package from Steel Series is like the first thing I've ever just gotten sent to me, where people were like, "Here you go, nice things." Where do I go next? Probably have to zoom at something again. Buddy! It was you all along! Put them on the table to figure the code out. Why? Oh, but it was already on one of the pieces. Dear son, it's been a couple of months since I've received a letter from you. I was just curious about James. How is my grandson doing? When will I get to see him? I've been so lonely lately. I'm so lonely. You said in your last letter that you'd let me see him and that you would keep me updated. I'm sure you're very busy with your career along with raising your child. Please just don't leave me with leave without telling me. I might just die of heartbreak if I don't get to see all of you before you leave. Guilt tripping much? Okay, now we open the door. And now we hear. Still locked. <laughs> Watch that bunny come alive and turn into the Holy Grail bunny, yeah? It's a rabbit! It would be cool if you like zoomed in and then you zoom out and there's something under the table. That would scare the fuck out of me. Can I see him? Oh, the bunny's here now. Yeah? I'm trying to open the door, but I can't. Yeah, I can hear you. Knock back. Dun dun dun. Oh. You can do it. Come to me. God, if she actually came through, it would scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> okay. First thing is, you can't even throw the holy hand grenade since it would land where you were aiming 20 seconds ago. What? I, maybe I have not seen the movie enough for that. I always love it in games when when they do like the door thing. Like there's a there's obviously a monster or a ghost on the other side of the door. And then in both games like this, you can't do anything with them and you can't open it, so it's like, yeah, whatever. Um, it kind of sucks. But some games, they let you actually open the door and then you die. Oh. There she is. Um. Jump scare? Oh. That wasn't fun. That was really good. That was really subtle how she disappeared. I thought there was someone standing there. Hello? Is that in this room? Someone's throwing a party! Did 
Do I see something? Or maybe that's police lights. Maybe it's like, uh, symbolizes police coming. Sirens. <laughs> and then you suddenly hear, like, the sandstorm. <laughs> God, these doors, they're all fake. <laughs> that Grumps animated thing is so good. Okay, it's getting darker. The lights are going off one by one. That's really cool. That's really subtle. Should we try and go back? Nope. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I guess they haven't good. A they don't have good animators on their team. <laughs> she mega dabbed. Yeah. <laughs> Why, hello there, spastic lady. Just make her appear like right behind you. That would have been scarier. James, I hope you're okay. Wait a minute. Like we might be in the house party house. Interact with the newspaper article after that and proceed to zoom on the yellow note put on the wall. Okay. Thank you so much, Speedy. That's so fucking obscure. In the form of journal entries. Read those carefully as they represent your thoughts and emotions at the time. Ah oh man, I still need to probably play obscure. Stuck in that dimly lit is it good solo or is it better forever. with someone? It's at local only though, right? Change of scenery. God's basement tends to manifest itself in an unusual way. It is pizza. Woo. I want pizza. Things can get. Remember when I asked you to ignore anything unusual? Well, that it's was a Japan mug. Yes, yeah, it has Mount Fuji it's on obviously it. Obviously, there for a reason. The only reason I said that was to frighten you. I find it quite amusing. Well, I should probably wrap this monologue up. Find more about your past and one last Thing. Good luck. Yeah, it's um, Starbucks does those location mugs, so my mom collects them. She's just crazy about them, but whenever I buy them for her, I'm always like, you know what? I kind of want one too. Um, and then you said newspaper? Couple brutally murdered by William Miller. <laughs> Brutal crime scare. Brutal crime scene emerged this weekend within a quiet suburban neighborhood. Two victims... Ooh, suburban. We should watch Back to the Future. Two victims, Neil Young and Sarah Young, were viciously stabbed by an unknown assailant. The two parents leave an infant son behind. Authorities did not have a lead, and it was reported that each victim was stabbed over 30 times, resulting in the faces of the victims to be heavily distorted and mangled. This brutal crime has shocked the local community. Okay. Honestly, I had no idea Starbucks at location mugs. They did. Uh, it used to be different ones, and now this is like the new version. They're like wider, lower mugs. They used to be like a little bit taller and slimmer. Um, yeah, it's it's so cute. My mom's like a little grandma when it comes to that. And I bring her home like a mug, and then she takes it out of the box and then very carefully puts it in like a glass case thing. So she has all of the Starbucks mugs in like a glass um, showcase thing. Can you hear it? White noise. The sound of silence. Is that door opening? Is 
So yeah, I went on a, I went on a little trip um, on my five days off, and uh, I went somewhere where I bought a mug f mug for her too. I was like, I'll buy you a mug since you're watching after the cats. And she was like, Oh, take more trips then, because I want the mugs. <laughs> That zoom didn't lead anywhere. That's kind of... Oh, I like this. Oh, I want a closet like that. Or cabinet. That's so PT, isn't it, nowadays? Like, there's always like a hallway that has some something creaking on the ceiling. Grandma seems to have... Grandma has been acting strange lately. She seems to be very forgetful and misplaces a lot of her belongings. Like her car keys and medication. It was my birthday last week, but I think she forgot that too. I'm going into middle school pretty soon, so I'm a bit nervous about that. I hope she starts getting better soon, James. Maybe some of your subscribers can send you mugs? Uh, they could. It would be cool, but at the same time, like... It's fun to go and collect them yourself. It's like a memory of like, oh, I've been here, you know? Hmm. See you later, Rich. Thanks for moving to Patreon. Excuse me. Little hiccup. <laughs> Another one. So we need to get text to appear on that one somehow. The secret. Find small red letters present on portraits. Needs to stand near a portrait and use the zoom fun function. Wait until the letter disappears. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Speedy. Ah, M. Ah, that's PT. That's definitely PT. Well, I found one. An M. It's gonna spell murder. Hmm. It's gotta be more, but I'm not seeing it. Are you guys seeing it? Definitely appeared here now. Salami. <laughs> I have to check the file every time. Murder, murder, murder.
Come on, where are you at? Didn't even see that one. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what it's gonna be. The glory days of PT. I'm so sad I don't have like a pure playthrough of that on my channel. But I did play it with uh, Stephanie, it's like the best, next best thing. It's actually Red Room, yeah. <laughs> Hello, excuse me. I'm looking for letters. Ikalopa, thank you, spoopy donation. Thank you. That sure woke me up. Maybe it's upstairs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any donations now would greatly help me with my trip to LA. Of course, I did the little donation thing, but um, that was really necessary. But also mostly because I just couldn't pay for food. <laughs> you missed the D. Suck my D! Where did I miss it? Ah. The lottery in the States right now has gotten up to one billion dollars. That's really high. That's a lot. Can't even I can't even imagine what to do with that much money. I would definitely travel more though. I did it. Murder. Last weekend. Murder, murder, murder. Was committed in a quiet suburban neighborhood. His D so small. Recently turned parents. <laughs> Hashtag were size matters. Stabbed while sleeping inside their bedroom. <sighs> Authorities Tight shoulders. reported that the bodies were. Really need to get another massage. I'm banking on a massage in LA for, with the Susie. Two also left behind an infant son. Currently, there are no suspects or leads as to who committed the murder, but authorities murder. are adamantly investigating the situation. Yeah. Murder. Murder. Durr. Just do a cat stream. I definitely could. I was hoping. Oh, this is the door we saw on the TV. Cool. Another empty sheet of paper? No. Something really strange is happening with Grandma. She doesn't. She doesn't seem like herself. Why does that need to? Uh, thingies. She feels distant and less lively. She doesn't enjoy talking as much as she used to. She seems very quiet and like she's always thinking about something. Unfortunately, her habit of forgetting things isn't getting any better. She frequently forgets to take her medication, so I have to remind her very often. I hope her condition improves, James. So the ghost we're seeing is just fucking crazy grandma? I could interact with something here. Ah. Welcome home. I'm home. Grandma? Grandma, you gotta let me in. Where is that? Oh, that's here. Jesus, Ed. You scared me! Wait, that is here. Thank you so much, Ed! Thank you for food. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, life has been very expensive recently. I can't- I'm not even paying my rent. My parents are just like, we'll help you out. Oh, 
Uh. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. My grandmother has been acting strange. I've been waking up in the middle of the night hearing her cry. Oof. I usually find her pacing. Thank you, Ed. Thank you so much. She usually won't even notice. Oh, she's gone. There until I make my presence known. After she notices me, she gives me this blank expression, then walks away back into her bedroom. Sometimes I'll press my ear against her door, and I'll hear a distorted version of this classical song she always listened to. Although these incidents are rare, they still creep me out. It happens about once every few months. Hopefully she gets better. Stop turning. <laughs> Oh, it's open. Welcome home. Why, thank you. I feel very welcome. Hey, nice. We've been playing so much indie horror lately. It's been really nice. October is always a good month, isn't it? I wish there was more shit like this we could just always play. I'm entering my first year of high school. I'm pretty nervous about it, but excited at the same time. My grandmother has recently was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Diagnosis didn't really phase her. She seemed a lot less lively these days. Uh, just listening to her radio or TV most of the time. I try to talk to her about current events and casual topics, but her responses are more bleak and dull than they used to be. I wouldn't describe her aura as depressing or gloomy. A more precise word would be hollow or empty. It, it's almost... she plays Kingdom Hearts too much. It's almost as if a part of her has drifted off somewhere and has yet to return. She would have episodes like this before, but the frequency and length of the episodes seems to be increasing. Home sweet home. Ever considered doing a stream or two of quick flash horror games? Yeah. We could do that. I mean, I've played flash games before. Go see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, hell nah. Guess I'm going in here. Ugh. This room. Why are all the paintings blank? Uh, this doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. Fuck. Are we stuck in the loop? There's no note here now, though. So far, so good. New note. Today I landed a part-time job tutoring my neighbor's kid. I can't get a real job yet since I'm only 14, but at least this will give me some kind of income. I started working at 14 as well. Regarding my grandmother's health, there have been no major changes. She remains un uninterested, uninterested and perpetually distant whenever I interact with her. Something kind of kind of strange happened today. I caught her having a conversation with the radio. Oh, the thing is the radio was off the whole time. She was ar arguing back and forth with it as if it was a real human being. Kind of reminded me of the crazy people I have to deal with when talk taking public transit. It's kind of messed up that I found it just a tiny bit funny. I'll probably be sent to hell for laughing at it, but I couldn't help it. I have a sick sense of humor. I love her to death and it pains me to see her deteriorate like this. I hope she gets better. Ah, Mandra, good night! Next common in guide is the area when where you asked to find a set of keys. The key can be found inside the hallway closet on top of a pile of clothes. Good to know. Thank you. Speedy, you're so helpful today. Thank you so much. 
Oh, another note. James, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've misplaced my keys somewhere. Can you find them for me? Just place them next to this note one once you found them. Sure thing, Grandma! Well, this one I can't open. Maybe this one? No. Pile of clothes? Oh, that was keys. I didn't even see it. I just saw that I had a dot, so I pressed E. That that okay for you, Grandma? You like that? I don't know what to do next, but... Oh, there's a note now. Are you lost? Apparently not. I hope it loops again, honestly. Wait, what? Haha. <laughs> That's good. So it does kind of loop again. Oh, Grandma! Fell asleep. Oh no, dude, you a sleepy boy? Or girl. Maybe I should check here. Um, yeah, this is a new one, right? Yeah. Last night I caught my grandmother staring at a painting in the middle of the hallway. It was in the middle of the night and her eyes were locked onto the picture. It was kind of eerie seeing her entranced by it. After star staring at it for at least half an hour, she walked off casually. I took a close look at the painting and it was completely blank. It was literally, literally a blank of piece of paper and she was staring at. At least I have some good news. I earned a raise for my tutoring job and I've started tutoring more another neighbor's kid so I earn more money. Yay! I just wrapped up my first year of high school so I'm glad I'll have something to keep me busy throughout the summer besides taking care of my grandmother. God, that's fucking exhausting though. Can't you just put her in a home? Because at some point she's going to be way too hard to handle. Tell grandma to go to fuck the sleep. Yeah, why would you just leave her there? <laughs> you kind of just have to like be like, Grandma, you gotta go to bed. It's night. Music what? Might you just get more exciting? Okay, we can officially not go anywhere. I read this, right? Yeah, staring at a painting. Oh, we need to stare at a painting. We just need to find out which one. Correct order of the words. First look at the blank part and then use a the zoom on it until the words appear. Just note that in the order of appearance is wrong, the words will disappear. So I have to find certain words first. Forgive. Forgive and forget. Forgive you. Will. So now they disappear again. Okay, so forgive you will. You will forgive. Hmm. 
Come with it, look at thirty look at it for thirty minutes, yeah. He never ah. Okay, he will never forgive you. Uh so start with he. Will never forgive you. I did it, Grandma. She's in that chair right now. No, she isn't. Oh, I was sure she was going to be in there. Still can't open the door. Game your go, drunk home. <laughs> that one doesn't open. Oh, that door is open now. Read the note inside the hallway, then walk all the way across to the end and interact with the door. Head back towards the starting with the hallway, plate will break. Ah. Okay, note. I woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of plates breaking. Oh fuck, did I scratch my face? I dashed out of my room to see what was happening. I saw her in the kitchen repeatedly trying to carry a plate from the kitchen to the dining room. While walking over to the dining room, she would drop the plate and repeat the process. I walked over to her and guided her back to her bedroom. I set up a small barricade so she wouldn't be able to get out so easily. She could really hurt her she could have really hurt herself. Maybe I should just set up a barricade so she doesn't get out of her room at night. I'm in the middle of my second year of high school right now and it's been really hard balancing school, friends, and taking care of my grandmother. Most of the time I have to just I have to turn down social events because I have to stay home and make sure she doesn't do anything crazy. That's way too much for a high school kid though. Um If you weren't streaming you would be bored to death by now? Not really. I could just watch some Netflix or play a game. Play some Overwatch. Why would I be bored? Grandma's Jake Paul confirmed. <laughs> nya, nya, nya. This game is a little bit boring. What should I do? Read the note, walk all the way across the end, interact with the door, head back to the starting with the hallway, plate will break. Okay. I thought I tried the end, but... Hey, Sky, what's up? Tried the door. I guess I gotta go all the way back now. For a plate to break. Halloween skins, yeah. I really am far behind ah, on getting my skins, too. I'm considering just buying boxes, but I couldn't, of course, but... Oh, maybe now it opens? No. Oh. Wait, it's not here? Where did I hear it? Here. I haven't heard this one before. No, I wouldn't buy them. I bought loot boxes last year and you get so many dupes. It just hurts. I need to play more though. I need to just do more arcade and stuff. Get more boxes. But I've been kind of weirded out lately with all the life stuff happening, so... I haven't been playing much Overwatch anymore. If you weren't streaming it, I don't think you would be playing it. it looks boring. Oh yeah, it's it's kind of boring. Yeah. 
If it was just me, I probably would stop playing it. Yeah, you're right. Now I'm just doing things like trying all the doors, going back and forth. It's a little bit boring, yeah. I mean, it's not even bad, badly done or anything. It's well done, but... It's lacking threat. That's why it's a little bit boring. The monster we keep seeing, like, there's no gameplay involved. Hey, Grings! Holy shit, thank you! What were you playing? We're checking out God's Basement, indie horror. Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you. What were you playing, babe? No. Oh, th this one opens. Okay. Just gonna keep going until. Oh, that's new. It's the music again. Playing Jackbox. Ah, cool. Um, can we sit in the chair? Oh, it's moving! Now it stopped. There's light coming from this one spot here. Is there a note? No. Hmm. Still technically waiting for the figure to appear. Maybe you need to stare longer at the picture in the room. Maybe 30 minutes, yeah. The red one? Yeah, maybe I haven't stared at it long enough. Maybe we need to hear something. Oh! This place he does not dwell. The hell! God is not present. No one will help you here. Hell is here. Ah, I see. So now she'll be there? That was probably it. There she is. So that's grandma? She's gonna come running again. Grandma? Where'd you go? Here. Hey, section done. I wonder how long this game is. I feel like they're kind of running on empty at the moment. Like, it, it, it was intriguing in the beginning with the dude being like the observer and he was like, trust me, I'll help you through this, but... Hmm. Oh, this is new. Um. Hmm. Oh, Tur, yeah, definitely. Um, you can't post a link though if you're not a mod, so uh, you would have to just tell me what website you can find it on and what the name is, and then hopefully my mods can look it up for me. Um, I'll check it out, but I'm not sure I'll record it. It depends on a lot of things. But I can definitely have a look. Oh yeah, tweet it. Tweet it, that would be perfect. If you can tweet your game to me. Should we look at the TV? Hmm. Oh, note. Starting to worry about the future. Grandma's condition continues to worsen, to get worse. Is she do is she going to stay like this for the rest of her life? I hope not. What will happen if I have to leave for college? Who is going to take care of her? The way it is now, I can barely leave her alone for two seconds without her breaking something. Currently in my third year of high school, so I still have a little bit of time to think about that. Hopefully I'll come up with a solution later. Fuck, dude. You have been taking care of your grandma for that long? That sucks. It's really not something a kid should be able should have to do. Especially if she's like dement. She has dementia like the grandma does. 
Or at least it's what I'm assuming because she's doing weird shit. Oh, sissy, see you later. Thanks for hanging out. A trip, see you later. Ah. Ah, it's that hallway again that we know. Is that where we need to go? Um, Speedy, since you have a guide open. Oh, I think this, I haven't read this one yet. Um, can you let me know how much longer the game is or how much longer the guide is like how far through the guide we are at the moment I just entered my senior year of high school it's time to start thinking about what happens after high school I recently applied for this scholarship it would pay for basically all my expenses including tuition, room and board and any everything else my biggest issue right now is my grandmother we don't really have any relatives or anyone to take care of her beside me Will, will I have to take care of her for the rest of her life? It might just be another year, though. The answer seems to be yes. Her condition keeps getting worse and worse. I know this is selfish, but I feel quite bitter about the current situation. I keep having to make sacrifices for her sake. Hopefully I'll think about a, I'll think of a solution sooner rather than later. Oh, Scarlet, thank you. See you later. There she is. Oh, she's using her arm. Is she walking? I think she is. I think she's coming closer. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna come to me? can hear someone. Oh. Oh, this is where she was. Hello, grandma? Oh, we need to find the axe again? Uh, axe. Yeah, an axe or a hammer. We used the hammer before, didn't we? What's up with this double... Oh, it's just lighting. Seems like it's two doors, but... What? Everything opens. Nothing on the TV, though. Sorry, I missed uh, Speedy's answer. What was it? Are you lost? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Are you scared? Frightened? Without hope? Without God? Are you lost? How can you be lost if you Ninja! Have Thank you for go? the resub! Are you scared? Thank you! Having a new baby? Ooh! <laughs> One more month! Hope? Guide goes for 10 God. chapters. And what chapter are we on now? We're now on 6 out of 10. So we're like halfway. Uh, yeah. Guess that would make sense. Probably just try and finish it then. I'm getting tired, but at the same time, like, it's not that late yet. I can still go at least 40 minutes before we've been streaming three hours. So I think we can probably finish it today. That would be nicer for me to just have one video. Fuck, everything opens. Oh, never mind. Not that one. Music is really getting samey. 
I have great news. I, I was one of the recipients for the scholarship. There's a downside, though. I can only use it for certain colleges. The, the list they gave me are all too far away to commute on a daily basis from our house and the college, so I would definitely have to move. Problem there is that no one would be able to take care of my grandmother. I can't just leave her. She can't cook, buy groceries, or do anything by herself. Practically her caretaker rather than her grandson. If I leave her, she'll probably wind up dead from starvation or some other accident. It feels like I don't have many options here. Shouldn't there be like a, a, a home you can put her in? Hey, Emski. Ooh, that's new. Man, the grandma's getting pretty boring though. All she does is just stand there and then you look at her for a while and then she goes away. That's basically all we've been doing. In the States there can be long wait lists. Ah. Go to the door, interact with it, says you will need a hammer. Um, it doesn't, but... No. A hammer? Zoom on bunny, go out, go back to bunny. <laughs> Is it? Go to the door and interact with the sale. It says you will need a hammer. Mm. It doesn't. Find the hammer inside a drawer which is present in one of the small dressers. Oh, I can open these. Go back to Bunny now. Oh, Bunny's gone. He moved. Are you leaving me too? Uh huh. Well, I'm trying to get in there. Oh, it opens. Let's see. I've been eating too many of the sour skittles today. My tongue hurts. Life is hard. <laughs> Are you guys excited for Fatal Frame next week? Ooh, private stream. Maybe we should do like Wind Waker or something. I haven't played Zelda in a while. I like Wind Waker. Needs hammer. Is it in here? No. Aha! It's bloody. Oh god, that reminds me of that indie horror I did on YouTube. That was like, you are scared of getting beaten by a hammer to death. <laughs> it's like, well yeah, that's pretty scary. Wind Waker for private streams. Wind Waker's always good. There we go. Oh, Catilio, good night! Are you gonna go to bed? Oh, yeah. God, it's not really a basement, yeah. This, yeah, what the fuck? Why is it God's basement? We're not in the basement at all. Or is hell called God? God it's like another way of saying hell, God's basement. Yeah, no, she saw that. I wonder if there's more of those or if that's the only version you can get. Um, Tur, yeah. I've played- I have playthroughs of all the Fatal Frame games on my channel, but I now have the Xbox version, which has a first-person mode, so that's what we're gonna try out next. Um, that starts on Monday. Wind Waker is one of my favorite childhood games. Yeah, Wind Waker is fucking amazing. 
Hello? Like, this is also just super tedious. Not enough happens. Okay. Hmm. Am I supposed to be here? I feel like I'm outside the level now. I think I broke the game. Should I try and walk off? Woo! Bye! Yeah, I think I broke the key. I don't think that door was supposed to open. You meant to see the ghost in the hallway behind the bunny. Hmm. Yeah, no, I just walked outside the level. Let's hope it auto saved. Okay. Wait, where am I? Did I lose all my progress? encounter. That was a lot of information to absorb. I hope you got most of it, but I'll try to summarize the best that I can. You were trying your hardest to get by high school while also taking You were meant to see the cutscene of ghosts attacking you and then appear where you are now, so I think job. you're good. Okay, that's good. At the end of high school, you had amazing grades and received a full ride scholarship. The only problem was you would have to leave your grandmother to attend college. She raised you all by herself after your parents passed away. It tore you up inside, knowing that you would have to abandon her to move forward in your life. Slowly but surely, her condition kept deteriorating, to the point where it was an extreme burden to provide care for oh, her. Oh, my neck. You had to make a choice. Abandon her and move on with your life, or throw away a full ride scholarship and sacrifice Yeah, a grandma just needs to go care. into a home or something. Are you ready to find out what choice you made? This is kind of exciting, isn't it? Well, I won't make Super you duper anymore. exciting. Can you see so how excited I am? I'm just trying not to yawn. I'm so excited. <laughs> so hard. I'm sorry, game devs. You did a really good job. <laughs> you were just returning the favor. If you haven't noticed, what would you guys do? I would probably take care of my grandma the one you instead of getting the care of your grandmother after you instead of doing the fund and just reapplying for the fund First after she dies, which is probably like in a year or two dying. anyway. Enter the door to your left and find your ID card. I'll speak to you soon. Good luck. Just wait until you get to the next bit. It's going to be so much fun. All caps. Mm. This tea is improving my life right now, though. Okay. Hello? Uh, could have easily had someone knock there. You will need to organize 50 boxes. No way. Are you, are you pulling my leg right now? <laughs> are you serious? Speak with the operator, walk into the room, get the yellow ID card present on top of that, okay? Hey dude, please sign in. I will need a card. IDs opposite desk. You guys are so good. Thank you. You guys are saving my life right now. Yeah. Oh my 
god, you're serious? Zero out of 50 boxes? The fuck do I do? Where, where do I put them? Are there like numbers on it? Like, what do I. Where do you want the box? Are you fucking serious? I have to organize 50 boxes? Do I have to put them here? I put it away. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Oh, can I pick up multiple boxes? I can only pick up one box at a time? Oh, what is this fresh hell? This is what hell is. They're just making me do office work after I die. Oh my god. No. I don't want to do this. Just... James, are you having fun organizing those boxes? <sighs> Shut up, I'm committed now. I'm gonna do it. Uh... Oh, fuck. This is hell. This is just what hell is. I'm in the bad place. Oh my god, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Are those boxes heavy? It must get pretty tiring doing this eight hours a day, five days a week. Are you trying to make me feel guilty about being a YouTuber? Thirteen out of fifty. Oh, I freaked Big Boss out with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Big hey, Boss. I think you missed one. Look over there in the corner. I sure did, but I can't grab it because my knees don't bend. After done here, go back into the room you started in. Through the door right of the big screen, all the way down to the hall. Uh, yeah. I'm only si I'm not even halfway! This fucking sucks balls. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. And thank you. Money makes all of life's problems disappear. <laughs> thank you so much. That makes me feel better. Thank you. Give me that. Please, kill me now. Just fucking let grandma take me. <sighs> Can I please die? Chapter 8 and 9 don't have any puzzles. Oh, Speedy, thank you. That's a relief. Can I grab the bottom one? Oh, I can. Quality gameplay. Yes. Do you ever feel regret? This is oh, fuck. I can't believe this is actually hell. This game. We're actually doing 50 boxes. I'm halfway. <laughs> this must be the most grueling thing I've ever done in a video game. This would have been the point if I was playing this solo. This would definitely have been the point where I was like, "Fuck this shit." I'm gonna organize 50 boxes? It does feel nice to organize them though. I'm a little bit OCD about that. Think of all the uh, if you do retail long enough, you get so bored in the store, you start organizing everything like to the centimeter. Just get so bored that you're like, this thing needs to go a little bit to the left, I'll get that one a little bit to the right. I've definitely done that. Color code all the fucking shirts and stuff. I was just so bored. They're not all boxes. Does it bother you? <laughs> this is fucking tedious. Holy fuck. 34. 35. Of her. 
This is probably more tedious, but probably also easier on the mind. Taking care of someone who's sick is fucking exhausting. I probably have the most respect for people who work in, like, elderly homes and take care of people that are sick. That must be so, I don't know, just tiring and draining. I couldn't do it. I have mad respect for people like that. Can I get that one? It bothers me that that's, that one's still there. It might seem like I'm trying to belittle you, but I'm just relaying the thoughts you had at the time. Oh, is this one? <sighs> Fuck, what am I doing with my life? Wait, it's not the right box. Can I please put this away? Where does it go? I put it somewhere. I don't know. Can I get that one? No. That one, maybe? Yeah. Caregiving is very draining. Yeah. Woman I watch has dementia and I have to help her with her physical therapy exercises while I'm there. She's also diabetic, so I have to cook specific meals. Oh shit. Yeah, that's... That's very... That's so much work. It's insane. Good on you, Chocobo. Lots of respect for you. I could not do it. It would be too draining for me. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? Sacrificing the future for the present. Sacrificing all that potential to have a clear conscience. Was it worth it? What's the number at? 46. Look how nicely it is organized now, though. That makes me feel good. <laughs> it looks great. Oh, Avenger, thank you for the bits. Oh, God, we're actually doing 50 boxes. I can't believe the game makes you do this. They must have been like, <laughs> get it? It's so horrible because it's hell. You're in the God's basement. Get it? Baggy. Last one. Bam. Wow. Great job, James. Are you ready to start all this over? It would honestly be less tomorrow? tedious if I did it IRL. Can I go now? Ah, oh, William! Thank you for the resub. No, I can't go. I can never go. Oh you got Twitch baby. What do I do? Can I just wait? Can we get 51? Haha! -ha! I can go home now? Please kill me! I don't want to do this. <laughs> Please break the game for me, <laughs> so I'm done. Oh, Ed's health is almost gone. 300 HP. One reset would do it. We're at 619. Gab the overachiever. <laughs> I did 51 out of 50 boxes. Eat a dick. <laughs> those are some big shoes. Are those mine? Um, oh. Okay. Don't take me back to that one hallway. Okay, it's different. That's one huge freaking fridge! Five Celsius? My body needs pizza. That's the problem. Oh, hey, basement! God's basement? Hello? I'm looking for God. Can I... Oh, I take it. Can I get the saw too? 
It's a tiny saw! No, just a hammer. Do I? Oh, I still have my flashlight. Okay. Who needs a hammer in? Who needs a smash? Do you want a smash? Now you have to stack 50 water bottles. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, God. I'm looking for your basement. Can you see how excited I am? My face is just all excitement. Oh, this is nice. That's really nice. Who wants a hammer in? I got one with your name on it. Ooh, that's dark. Hello? If that alarm goes off. Oh, I'm gonna be fucking sorrow. I'm gonna be fucking traumatized. Like the classic. Oh, building barricade. Is grandma in there? Is that what we did? We just locked her in the room? That's why we're in the bad place. Stacking boxes. This game has led to lots of sorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my life. What are we doing? It's, it's agony. Hammer basement. What do we do next? So, uh, speedy or Nanashi. Climb out the window! Escape! I've seen this basket before. I've seen these boxes before! You need to be organized! Can I open the... I need to barricade all the doors? Uh, oh, are you joking? Maybe I can, though. Let me see. No. Ed! You scared me! You healed yourself! Thank you so much, pizza money. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. I will definitely buy pizza tomorrow. I'll share it on Discord. I'll be like, Thank you, Ed. Pizza. Oh, you! Thank you for the bits! Maybe I need to check here more? Uh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> what the fuck do I do? We've made a barricade. Someone, Granny, is probably crying on the other side. Need to try anchovies on pizza? No! Note in TV room. Okay, thank you, Nanashi. Please help me out constantly, because holy fuck this game. TV room? I wish I could- oh, I can run a little bit. Oh, there it is! Clean up broken plates, hide kitchen knife under bed. Why under the bed, of all places? Check emails on phone, nail wooden planks on door, turn off all the lights and go to bed. Okay, broken plates. Kitchen? Not this way. Not that way. This is a strange house layout. Okay. Oh, there they are. The fuck is this? Kind of like a take care of your grandma simulator? What was the other one? Kitchen has plates and knife. Oh, right. Now hide a knife under the bed. <gasps> My back is itchy. Okay. Oh! Accidentally pressed press my windows key. There we go. A uh, knife under the bed. <laughs> I don't remember the layout of the house. <laughs> Game isn't really enticing me enough. 
to pay attention. More plates in the dining room. Fuck. Grandma, what have you been doing? Oh, <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> More plates. Take the knife. Surprise your granny behind the shower curtain. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Phone. Fortunate that you have declined our scholarship program. Thank you for applying, and we hope that you are successful in your all your future academic endeavors. Is that it? How do I delete it? Oh, I just need to check the emails. Okay. Uh, more broken plank, bro broken plates, and turn off the lights. Oh, that game. Did they make that game? 35 mm millimeters. It's a game that I almost played, and I was just like, ah, changed my mind. I think that's it. Now I just gotta turn off the lights. Cause that won't be spooky. We're honestly just doing a checklist right now. Um, this switch? And now we're going to bed. Close the game and just sleep. Um, I think that's it. And then there's this light. But how do I turn it off? Do you want to just go to bed now? Ah. Was that another chapter? Fuck, I hope so. So he really just barricades his grandma in that room at night. Fuck. She's gonna hurt herself at one point. And then you have to explain that you why you barricade that door. Why would you hide a knife where your grandma can grab it right by your side? I need to just fucking put it in a drawer and then lock that drawer or something. Fifteen minutes of gameplay left. Thank you, Nanashi. We can do it. If we can organize 50 boxes, we can get through this game. Don't step on the knife. Ooh. You like my head, dude? Isn't it great? It's so cute. It's from Susie Mortimer. Am I supposed to do anything or... Someone knocked. I think Bagnari has a link ready for the shop if you want to get it. It's not in stock right now, I think. The... There she is. Um, she will restock it though, I think. This one. So be sure to keep an eye on uh, psychiccircleoddities.com. There, Bucknari just linked it. Grandma's trying to get in. Ooh, big, thank you for the sub. Wait, how'd she fucking get out of her room? We nailed the door shut. Grandma's quite strong. I think Grandma's possessed. Like, it's not just Parkinson, but she's... Possessed. Now you... Oh, what? I was enjoying my tea, thank you very much. Is the knife gone? No. Grandma? How? How? Grandma's Houdini. Grandma, how do? Fucking flashlight. I fucking hate it when flashlights do that. It makes the game fucking unplayable. It's like, something happened! Uh. Grandma! Should I just turn the lights on? Can I? Of course I can't. <laughs> you want to use your cell phone? Grammy! 
So that's what she looked like before she died? Wait, if she's actually my grandma, I should come and help her, right? Oh. Grandma, how'd you do that? Grandma is Houdini. Grandma, where'd you go? This doesn't make sense though. Why would Grandma just disappear like that? Notes on the table in the dining room. Oh, thank you. Fuck, I keep missing those. Pain, are you full of it? Patience, are you out of it? When will your suffering end? Pretty soon, I think. Well, or not, since I'm in hell. Go listen to the TV, then read a note on the table in the bed. Oh, this is so tedious. Pain, are you full of it? Patience, are you out Then of a it? note in the bedroom. Pain, okay. When will your suffering end? You wanted her to die, didn't you? Not for her sake, but for your own. You yearned for her death, not because her suffering would cease. It was because yours would cease as well. Well, yeah, that, I mean... It's kind of a part of it. There's not much you can do about that. She's just like... Bothering, holding him back on life right now. Can't really blame him for feeling like that. Today I found my laptop broken. I left her alone for just a few minutes while I was in the bathroom and I guess she walked into my bedroom and had an episode. I have to drain my savings in order to replace it. Mm, fuck. This poor guy. Do you feel the resentment pulsating through your veins? Do you feel the last breath of patience exiting your body? Tedious guilt simulator. <laughs> Overflowing. Displacing empathy, sympathy, and love. Do you hear it? It's calling you. A way out. Follow it. Let it guide you. That was a pretty fun game. A way out. So I have to listen to the music now? You're gonna stab grandma? Yeah. Let's grab the knife. Oh, Grammy! Here goes. You are 100% going to stab your grandma. <laughs> it sounds so nasty. <laughs> Grammy! Can I read these? I did something unspeakable. I killed them. I murdered them both. I didn't know what to do. I had nothing left to live for. I'm so sorry. Who? Two dead in fatal crash. Yeah, we read that one. I haven't been answering your calls. These are all things that we read before. Jeez. With no family or friends left, living a hopeless and bleak existence, your grandmother decided to murder them. Wait, my grandmother With your parents killed my parents? Life, she could raise you all by herself. Her desire was selfish. Wait, I missed that. Why did she do that? That was all you needed. A way to justify her death. A way to break the burden of taking care of her. Do you remember what you did? I'll walk you through it once more, just in case you forgot. So I found out that my grandma killed my parents, and then I took revenge. But 
That makes no sense, no. So, okay, so it's grandparents, grandparents, parents, and two kids, right? And we're one of the kids. So, grandpa and brother, they die. Get the knife, get new radio, get the phone, place the knife on her bed, replace the old radio, place the phone on the table. Jesus! Okay, I'll just start with one. Get the knife. Wasn't the knife in there? Um, knife, knife, knife! Oh, here's the knife. Get the knife, get the new radio. Is this a new radio? Get the phone. Place the knife on her bed. Mom and dad blamed her for the death of grandpa and little brother before kept her character away from her. Oh, and then she killed them so she could claim custody. Let's see. Mm. What does the note say? Replace the old radio. Where's the radio? This is also so tedious. Jeez. Place the phone on the table outside the door. Did I talk through her to her through the radio? You're trying to get her to kill herself, yeah. Well, because if it's suicide, then he can just move on and then they just let him go. And if he starves her, then it's murder. Murder, murder, murder. Well then. Hey, we're at six twenty. Woo! Thank you. Man. Sucks though. It's a good story. Mm. Nasty. Shit, we have a lot of viewers. Thanks. What am I doing with my life? Why do I search out all of these nasty games and enjoy it? This is nasty though. Damn. Let's give her some pills, yeah. Oh, and he did it because he heard her talk to the radio before. So she actually, like, already was thinking that she could talk to the radio. Goodbye. I can you. You will not be 
Yeah. It kind of sucks, because this is really cool. The story elements are cool, and this is fucked up. So if they had... They can pretty much take out, like, an hour of the game, and it'll still work. There's so much empty gameplay stuff that doesn't make sense in there. James, you murdered her. You knew about her delusions. She always talked yeah, the man about the radio. man in the radio, so you decided to become... Actually paid character. attention for a little bit. You replaced the old radio and then played an audio file telling her to stab herself repeatedly with a knife. God, that's nasty. You knew she was delusional and had episodes of schizophrenia. She followed your instructions and eventually bled to death due to her self-inflicted injuries. Since all the evidence pointed to a suicide, yeah, that's why. you weren't charged with anything. You finally got what you wanted. You were finally free. They didn't see all the holes in the around her door from all the barricades. Exactly, you ended up dead. Well, for the first few months, you lived your life carefree. Holy shit! You actually enjoyed life to some extent, not being tied down. Oh, this is depressing. Relative. But eventually, that all came crashing down. It started off with brief, horrific, gruesome nightmares. Visions of her stabbing herself endlessly, blood gushing out of her wounds, flooding your mind with blood-red guilt. Slowly, these nightmares leaked into your daily life. You'd see her out of the corner of your eye, whether you were driving, walking down the street, or at work. Even though you killed her, she never really left. She lived in your mind and haunted you every day until you eventually couldn't fall asleep. Fuck. Every time you closed your eyes, even for the briefest of moments, she'd manifest in your subconscious. Eventually, you went to the hospital and you were prescribed sleep medicine. But that only suppressed the... Then you're just stuck in your nightmares. That sucks. Slowly, your body adjusted to the medicine and you... Like a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 1, Dream Warriors? This process kept repeating until you were taking multiple times the recommended amount. You were addicted until mm. one night you overdosed on sleep medication. The eternal sleep. Right now, in this moment, your physical body is currently in a hospital bed, hovering between the thin line of life. Oh, and death. We're not dead yet. You're still probably wondering why you're here in God's basement. I'll finally tell you who I am. And what this place really is. God's basement is a realm for those who have committed great sin, but are still redeemable. The my soul is redeemable? What the fuck? I told my grandma to stab herself. Their own versions of hell, allowing them to reflect on their life and watch their slow descent into evil. Their resentment, hate, bitterness, and jealousy accumulate. Until those emotions manifest themselves through atrocious acts, yours being murder. You were backed into a corner, watching your life slowly pass you by. All those opportunities you sacrificed. All that potential wasted. You became bitter and resentful. Many could sympathize with you. Many might have even done the same. You were hopeless. And it felt like you were inside a living hell. Ooh, stiff. I am Ooh, so the stiff. Operator. I am an enemy oh, that, that manifests oh. in God's basement. I manifest myself in different ways depending on the person. Would have been cool if it was My a lady's voice. to guide the person inside God's basement and allow them to relive their life from a different perspective. In your case, I manifested with many characteristics resembling the man in the radio. Mm. Hopefully this explanation cleared everything up. Okay, it does make sense. Like, the story's You're pretty good. You're probably wondering what happens now that you have all your memories. <sighs> I mentioned earlier that God's face... Just the gameplay didn't, wasn't so obscure and trivial. Even though you committed an atrocious sin, you were trapped in a hopeless existence. Also, the person you killed wasn't really your grandmother. She was a shell of her former self. Your grandmother died long ago.
ago, it doesn't justify what I did, dude. Suffering cease. Your crime was both cruel and merciful at the same time. You are going to get a second chance at life. Pretty soon you're going to wake up in a hospital bed out of your drug-induced coma. Learn to live with what you did. The feelings of guilt, the fuck? paranoia, and pain will never I fucking go told away. my grandma to kill herself. James, like, even if she's an awful being, doesn't excuse me to do it. grateful for this second chance. One last thing. Good luck. Could have just easily smothered her with a pillow or something, or gave, given her the sleeping pills or something. The fuck? Like, having her stab herself is the worst possible way you could do it. It wasn't even a quick death, no. I, I mean, personally, I think I should burn in hell forever. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we're getting a second chance even after what we did. Should have been a work of mercy. Ah, oh, Nanaji! Fuck that game. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I do not agree with the morals of this game. Oh, that music. <laughs> God's basement. If they... Oh, sorry. So, it took us two and a half hours to beat this game, which felt like eternity. I feel like if they... Uh, if they take out like a full hour of gameplay, it might be better. Same story, just less gameplay. Because it got so tedious. The boxes I can even get behind. Like, I understand what it's trying to do with that. But the wandering the halls and then just like looking at something long enough, then reading something and then looking at something else so that you trigger that a key appears or something. That's kind of bullshit. I could not have played this without Speedy and Nanashi helping me out. This. <laughs> I should put you poor. Yeah. And like they had one cool model of the grandma. And so many times it was just like, look at her, and then she goes away. And it was cool the first couple times, but like after 20 times, it's like, I get it. You don't know how to animate her. There's no gameplay. Thanks. We reached the end, and I wanted to say thank you for playing through the whole game. Still pretty new to creating video games, so I hope the experience was bearable. <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the experience. Maybe someday you'll play another one of my games if I'm able to release another one. Thanks again, Erebus. Story's really good, but he definitely needs to hire a programmer or someone who does level design slash gameplay because that really needs a lot of work. I'm reading it in his voice. You've reached the end and I wanted to say thank you for playing through the whole game. I'm still pretty new to creating video games, so I hope the experience was bearable. Hopefully you enjoyed the experience. Maybe someday you'll play another one of my games, if I'm able to release another one. Mm, nah, nah, nah. Hope I don't get copyrighted on that. We're back! Now this is hell. We just need to play the entire game again now. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! It's like... Okay, conclusion, it has some really good stuff going on, and, like, story story is great, story is original, but fuck, there's so much empty space in between the story, and it's so tedious, like, I feel like dude had no idea what was going on gameplay-wise, or how he was gonna do it. Had some good ideas, some good moments, obviously PT inspired by a lot of, with a lot of such stuff, but, uh, it could do, it could do with so much less. Just more story, better sound design would make this game so much better. Okay. But we did it! We finished it! Um, we should have credits in a bit. There we go! Not enough spoops, I feel. You never were in danger? No, that's always the case with these canning games. And Nicolopa, thank you so much for those donations today. Really helps me out. Thank you. Andy Chicken Trip, 
Fox, Chocobo, Rocket, Avenger, Scarlet, you and Ghost. Thank you for the bits. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone who followed me today. Thank you so much, Cat and Minx, for the raids. Really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Thank you. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's private stream. If you want to check it out, uh, you can now sub on Patreon. Uh, mods, if you could post a link, please. Thank you. And that's tomorrow afternoon, so morning. Sandy, Evan, <laughs> Era, Avenger, Kick, Spork, Quim, Revenge, Nizami, Taylor, Decent Gamer, Jules, CrazyCon, Strassen, Nerevar, Crab, Spencer, Cheesy, Ninja, William, and Pick. Thank you so much for the subs and resubs. As I was saying, oh, Pick, thank you for the bits. Bits for BB. <laughs> um, as I was saying, tomorrow morning, I think it's 9 a.m. EST, 3 p.m. Europe, mainland Europe. Uh, I'm gonna do a private stream, not really sure what to do yet. I'm kind of feeling Wind Waker, maybe. Uh, Wind Waker, or we're doing Dead Space with like Elvis in the background, which is really nice, and Grease. That was so funny. Um, so yeah, basically just shooting necromorphs, and then the background's like, background is like, you're the one that I want! <laughs> ooh, 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 honey! <laughs> It's great. We've been doing that. Um, I think we also have like a bonus chapter for a hog still open. Um, but yeah, Game Wisp is shutting down. I'm gonna be on Patreon. So if you want to check that out, um, $10 on Patreon will give you access to my Discord channel where we agree on time and stuff and give you access. So that's that. And then uh, Sunday we're watching Beetlejuice, 10 p.m. Uh, Europe, 4 p.m. EST. And um, so that'll be fucking awesome. And I hopefully have time for X-Files before or after that, but I really cannot promise it yet. We'll just have to see the day itself, how I'm feeling, how much time I have, etc. Um, and what else is there? Then Monday we're starting Fatal Frame 2. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be Fatal Frame 2 first person mode. I think I can finish it in three streams. But it could be a little bit more lengthy. I don't, just don't know how first person plays. So it might be four streams, but we'll see. Um, then I put the Thursday stream earlier, but I'm going to put it back on nighttime. So all the streams will be just nighttime. Except for tomorrow's private stream. But that's it. That's everything I have planned for now. So yeah, if you want to check those out. Um, if you want to check out the movie and you're subbed, connect to Discord and then you get access for that. If you want to check out the private team, go to patreon.com slash ggab and sub to the $10 tier. Then you get access. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this horrible, boring game <laughs> with a good story. <laughs> and I will go sheep! And uh, see you tomorrow for private stream, hopefully. And if not, I'll see you Monday for Fatal Frame, bitches. See you then. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Bye. Good night.